Okay, so, um, you know, the 10th step, uh, the more you, if you do the Course in Miracles and you're in 12 steps and you're doing the 10th step, it'll intuitively come to you how to, how to use the 12 steps like the Course in Miracles or like Ramana or, or whatever, you know, because, um, you know, I mean, if I was to apply self-inquiry or the observer to the 10th step in inventory, I'd say like, I'm resentful because I'm observing that my dad's guilty or I'm resentful that I see myself as being guilty. You could apply it as a, as a 10th step or if you apply the Course in Miracles as a 10th step. I'm resentful because I'm, I, I'm holding a belief in mind that, um, that I'm ugly, you know, or, um, so, or I'm holding a belief that you're ugly or whatever it is. So I could apply the tenth step, and that will start to dissolve the belief, or dissolve the feeling, or dissolve that I'm observing something I don't want to be observing. So you can apply the tenth step and, and run it through the inventory to release uh, feelings, to release um, belief systems, or even to uh, yeah, I'm, I'm resentful that uh, I'm observing a world that's full of guilt and that needs punishing. That you can just run that through a resentment. So um, the more you get into non-duality, enlightenment teachings, the Course in Miracles, you can just run it through and you, you, your sponsor can't stop you because it is, a, it is a resentment. It's like you become more sophisticated in seeing the ego's mechanisms and then being resentful. Oh God, you're not doing the guilt thing on me or others again, are you? So, you know, you can just plow it through a 10th um, step. Okay, guys.